I did remember with, uh, with Martin, but uh, the analysis is theirs. The, I um, community in the state of Chicago once said that love is a matter of chemistry. That explains why my wife treats me like that. Quiet because Jews don't air their laundry in public. 
with various forms of them, what they have in common is that they are all wrong. One argument for keeping things under wraps and not taking them public is that when you talk about these things in public, about Jews doing these terrible things that, of course, we know Jews don't do, even though they do, is that it creates a chilul Hashem, it desecrates Hashem's name. It's absolutely true and almost absolutely irrelevant. Because the Chilul Hashem of a cover-up or of things getting worse because there was originally a cover-up and the damage done becomes far greater is a worse Chilul Hashem. So that argument can often be discounted. There are people who believe that under all circumstances it is forbidden to take problems in the community and take them to the authorities, the secular authorities, because in fact there is a prohibition in the Talmud called the Sira, which means handing over uh, Jews to governmental authorities. This is also a mistake, because primarily the Sira, the prohibition in the Talmud, refers to uh, plunderers and illegal passengers who are sniffing out money to steal. If a person points them in the right direction and says, this is where you'll go, go to Chaim Yanko, down the block, third house in the corner. He has assets that he can seize. That is the original kind of the serum that the Thomas spoke about. It is true that in Shulchan Aruch, in the Code of Jewish Law, various other forms of going the governmental agencies are discussed. It's a complex issue, but i got to tell you what the bottom line is. We don't have to spend three hours on the complexity. It is explicit in Shulchan Aruch, in the Code of Jewish Law, that people who are, who, who cause grievance to the public, who cause harm to the public, there is no prescription of going to the authorities. And if there ever was a kind of person who was a public menace, danger, we can wax euphoric and all the, 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 the names we can attach to, to people who, who, uh, who do incredible damage to children psychologically, physically, change their lives, change their lives around. Uh, the, the child abuser is certainly part of that. And when there are people in the community, I don't care who they are, whether they're rabbis, whether they're principals, whether they're social workers, whether they're babysitters, the bottom line holistically is that if there are people out there and the only way to stop them is to go to the authorities, you go to the authorities. Reversal Schechter a few months ago, or the Rosh Yeshiva Blayu, Rosh Chol there, and he once spoke to a group of of major uh, Jewish uh, Russia yeshiva, great uh, Torah scholars, and asked if they discovered that somebody in their employ was a, a child molester, what would they what would they do? So he said he got two reactions. The larger group of people hemmed and hawed, and Ruth Gipster, the great Russia yeshiva tells, said without equivocation, without thinking, I go to the police and have them arrested. He said the latter response was the correct response, and the former response was the correct response. They were both right. The larger group that had the law were right, because they just didn't know the halacha. <laughs> so they had nothing to do about that in the law. So he said it the right way. So it's important to know that the bottom line is that when you hear of any objection, that you're just not allowed to go to secular authorities, you don't do that, that is absolutely incorrect. There are other arguments that could be brought as well, and I don't have to spend your time on there's no question that a child molester is one who is dangerous to the public. Uh, if you argue that, well, it was only one kid, it was only with one kid, there's a syndrome. We've studied the syndrome long enough to know that people who are into this kind of behavior don't stop with one child. Uh, they are definitely a problem for, for, for others, and there's usually no controlling them other than keeping them away from children. Therapy, for the record, does not have an effect. I don't say it has no effect, but the stats on therapy, including long-term 
even residential programs for sex offenders is dismal. 